Looks like a safe place to meditate. Just need to focus my mind. Hey, BD-1. I'm Cal. Uh, yeah, I'm okay. I'm just I'm looking for someone. No, not you. I'm searching for a, a Jedi, I think. Hold on. Y you know the Jedi? What do you know? Wait, hold on! Did you just slice that? Thanks. The vault Seer mentioned. Whoever I'm supposed to find must be waiting there. I sense something over here. That's a really big bug.
It was after boggling eggs and the pack fought back. No way through here. Guess that's why BD1 warned me. All right, maybe I'll listen to you next time. Any ideas? Gotta get across this gap somehow. Zipline? <laughs> Whoa! How'd you know that would work? Wait, you didn't? I hear you, but there's something over here I want to explore. Should I use this place to study the sphere above? I can still feel the excitement. Careful over there. That doesn't look safe. Just like back at the scrapyard. Hold on, Jimmy. I'm coming. Whoever lived here used this room for storage. They kept food and supplies. Hey, that was pretty brave. You okay? Wait, I can help you with that. Will you let me? Well, 
Skomplink is busted, but this should help you get moving for now. Okay, try that. The vault? Yeah, that's where I was headed too. Okay, well, first we gotta figure out a way out of this place. BD, that's a little small for me. Don't worry, I'll find my own way out. Tight fit, but this should work. Those vines look like they lead somewhere. Hope they're sturdy. surprises. <clears throat> That's better. Thanks, little droid. Okay, let's try this again. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> Here, hop on board. So, how'd you get here? Don't remember? I've never known a forgetful droid. Can't argue with that. Hey, a chest. Think the Jedi would mind if we grab supplies? Where are you going? Something we can use? That's where we need to go. I can feel it.
mapped everywhere we've been. I can't make it over there. We gotta find another way. I'm looking. <laughs> yeah, sorry about your scoff link. But standing up to that bog rat, pretty brave. Someone made camp here. They were excited to discover a giant creature that lives close by. A binog, they called it. Tool was used by someone eager to reach the vault.
right, then. What is it? Check it out. I can't get it to work. BD1, over here. Thank <laughs> you. 
What's that? See something in there? Master? Yes, the path is difficult. It may seem impossible, but with persistence and the Force as your ally, you will overcome any obstacle. You will master any path. Now, do what you must to reach me. tricks. Think you can show me that shortcut again? Whoever owned this bag brought it from Coruscant. They were frustrated with the Jedi Council. This area was used for meditation by someone familiar with the Jedi Order. PD-1.
one. See there? Oh, it's on. We're not finished yet. Okay, okay, he probably would have won. Probably. What'd you find? Okay, I'll look. You all right, Beatty? Well done, whoever you are. You have passed the test I left behind and gained access to the vault and this recording, one of many encrypted logs stored in the droid. I am Master Ino Cordova. I may not know your name, but I know your purpose. The fate of the Jedi Order lies in your hands. This place, this vault is a sacred temple built by a vanished civilization known as the Zephyr. Meditating here, I was granted a premonition through the Force, a vision of doom. I have placed inside this vault a Jedi holocron containing a list of the names and locations of young Force sensitives throughout the galaxy. Ahead, you will find the inner chamber of the vault, but also another test. I can only trust this holocron to someone who has followed my path and understands. Seek out the hidden tombs of the three sages and learn to perceive the mysteries of the Force as the Zephyr once did. In this droid, you will find everything you need to succeed on this journey. Go to the Zephyr homeworld. There, you will find peace in the eye of the storm. Good luck, Jedi. And may the Force be with you. I guess you were the someone I was supposed to meet. <laughs> I've been alone for a while now, without any purpose, just hiding. There's no way to live, not for a Jedi or a droid. Maybe Seer was right. 
Maybe we're done hiding. Hey, you want to meet some uh, friends of mine? I think I found what you wanted me to see. Sounds like you did. We'll be waiting. Now look. My friend, it appears the Cepho had some interest in Dathomir. Strange. For such a peaceful culture to have any sort of fascination with a place so dark. Don't fall behind, BD-1. Should be a lot quicker than the way in.
passed the test. So you knew about BD-1? Come on board. We'll talk inside. Oh, BD-1, this is Grease. Hey, Grease. What is that? Get off my sofa! Get, get off my sofa! Don't! Get out of there! Get out! That is BD-1. He's with us. I don't care who he's with. Do you have any idea how hard it is to get oil stains out of patoli mean fabric? Not really. Oh, I hope you found something better out there than this droid. Oh, calm down, Breeze. He did. Tell us, Cal. The vault was built by an ancient civilization called the Zepho. A Jedi named Eno Cordova hid something inside of it. What did he hide inside? A holocron from the archives. It contains a list of four sensitive children. The next generation of Jedi. I knew it! Ah, oh, Cordova, you old fool. You knew him? Yes. A long time ago. I was his apprentice. Cordova was a loner. And that little droid and I are probably the only ones that know about Pagano. Hold on, wait a minute, wait a minute. A hollow what? A holocron. It stores information, but only accessible to Jedi. Hang on, I think I have one around here. Use the Force. This is Master Obi-Wan Kenobi. I regret to report that both our Jedi Order and the Republic have fallen. With that list of Force sensitives, we could rebuild the Jedi Order and defeat the Empire. Okay, no problem. Let's get it! Well, except the Holocron is hidden deep inside the vault, and to get it, we have to follow Cordova's path. He mentioned something about the planet Dathomir and a Zeppo homeworld. All right, well, where are we going? I'm just asking because I was thinking of maybe making some food. Look, before we do anything, I need to know something. How come you're no longer a Jedi? I had an experience that changed my perspective. So I cut myself off from the Force. But you still want to rebuild the Order. I believe that rebuilding the Order is the best chance we have against the Empire. What do you believe? I believe I can't keep hiding from the Empire, so I don't really have a choice. Cal, as long as you're alive, you will always have a choice. Are you with us? We're in. Dathomir Zepho, it's your choice. I'm busy. I gotta figure out what to cook next. Hey, Grease, what's this thing? What? You've never seen a terrarium before? Sure, but don't they usually have plants in them? Well, I've been a bit busy hauling you around the galaxy. But you know, you could pay me back with some seeds. I thought you hated nature. When it's out there, you betcha. But when it's behind a comfortably thick wall of bar and glass, that's perfection. All right, I'll see if I can find any. Seer, can you feel the force at all? Yes, but instead of opening up, I push it back down. The exact opposite of what you should do. Out there, I remembered something about myself before the purge. It was painful, but like I found a piece of myself. That's good. You're learning to embrace the Force again. How can you say that? Because I know what it means to live without it. Okay, I'll keep trying. Yeah, now you're thinking, let's get out of here. Today, our great military is dedicated to enforcing the laws of the Empire, yielding to no one who seeks to destroy our galactic harmony. You hear that garbage? Turn it off. Lying imps. Do you think anyone buys this junk? Too many on the core worlds. 
Their daily lives haven't changed much since the Empire took over. Oh, come on. Some of them are even richer than before. Not like the expendable world. Not like Latera. As long as the Emperor keeps the right people happy, it'll never stop. That's why we need the Jedi. Then we better get this hollow thing fast. Get over here, kid. We're about to land. This might not be the best time to land. Eh, something strange. Those winds are interfering with our comms. Hey, Cordova mentioned something about peace in the eye of the storm. Well, I can just make out a settlement in the middle of it. Then we have to get there. Copy that. <laughs> oh. Couple bumps ain't gonna kill you, kid. <laughs> Unless the wind picks up. Can you tell that bucket of balls to keep his opinion to himself? I'm sure everything's under control. Because it's under control, it's just a little tricky. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on! Oh. Huh. Perfect landing. Greasy money, baby. Uh, but I'm still getting a lot of interference on the comms. It's gonna take me a minute to get them back up. I'll search for signs of Cordova in the meantime. Good. I'll be in touch once I crack this. Cal, over here. You did good work on Pagano. The more information we gather on Cordova and the Zepho, the closer we'll get to stopping the Empire. I've heard of ancient cultures, but don't know much about them. I only knew that Cordova was obsessed with the Zepho, believing their teachings to be important. I, too, was intrigued by the mysteries of our galaxy. You better get moving. There's a lot to learn here. Good luck. <laughs>